Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my FPU experience, week number nine. This is my last one of these, you guys. I think I might be doing another video, like recapping the whole thing, because I think feel like that's a whole video within itself. So let's talk about week nine. And I'm an idiot and forgot my book. I'll be right back. I might need the book, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's flip to what this lesson was called. I remember this lesson being called something very interesting. Um, today is actually Monday and I have these classes on a Sunday or had them on a Sunday because it's over now. But I just did not get to this yesterday. It was just a super busy day and I just I couldn't get to it, you guys. But it's still happening. All right, so this week is called The Great Misunderstanding. <gasps> Essentially what The Great Misunderstanding is, this is all about giving. Like this whole chapter or lesson was all about giving. Um, just to be forewarned, this lesson was probably the most religious of all of the lessons. He talked about the Bible quite a bit. He talked about Jesus and God and their teachings and all of that stuff too. Um, I myself, I know that I've said this on my channel many times, I am not a religious person at all, but I feel like with this program, like you can definitely take something out of it for sure, regardless of any religious affiliation, even if you're not Christian beliefs or anything like that. It's totally fine. Um, this is all about managing money in the way that works best for you and you understanding how to control your habits. And I feel like that's the biggest lesson, you know? So when you get to the last lesson, if for some reason you're in some other kind of religion, it's totally okay. Um, I definitely got something out of it too. So really the great misunderstanding is that to be wealthy and to control your money, you have to have a tight, tight grip on it. And when you open your palm a little bit more and you give, your palm is open to receive more money too, to do great things with. Also to be creative with your giving as well. Um, I shared with the class that since I've putting then since I've been putting giving um, kind of more at the top of my budget, even though I'm not giving to a religious affiliation, I'm giving to different organizations or just random things in my life. I feel like that has made me a better person, and that's really all that this is about: is being a better person in giving. I feel like it's kind of karma, you know, like. What goes around comes around and that money will come back to me someday and if it doesn't it's okay too and i would rather give it to an organiza organization or an individual that i feel is worthy of that it actually gives me a lot of joy and fullness to give i really really enjoy giving it is like one of my favorite favorite things regardless if it's twenty dollars or if it's two hundred dollars I just feel really great after I give and knowing that the money is now in someone else's hands that they can do good with, whether they're using it to buy their lunch or whether they're using it for some joy, um, say they're wanting to buy something for someone else. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it gives me such a mood booster too. Not that I really need a mood booster because I'm usually always kind of in a good mood, but it just makes me feel really good. And I really enjoy that feeling. And that's kind of what keeps me motivated to keep giving. And I really, really like it. Now, that being said, a lot of you know that I'm on a house buying journey and the giving isn't gonna stop when the house buying happens. It's just gonna be a whole lot less, but I'm still gonna be doing some sort of giving and you guys will end up seeing that in the budget once I actually buy a house and stuff like that too. But this lesson was really all about giving and I really feel very passionate about giving and it's not really about the size of the gift, it's how it makes like you feel on the inside. So that's really all this lesson was about and I really, really enjoyed the class. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a separated video talking about all the things that I learned or my top couple of tips. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Also, I wanted to share what I wrote in my one minute takeaway. I think I've shared most of my one minute takeaways in my workbook, but not all of them. And I felt like this was a really good one to share from this lesson, which is obviously the last lesson. The one minute takeaway from this 
for me, in my own words, was giving will always, and I like underlined it a few times, giving will always make me better. It will make me a better person to give. It will make me feel better to give. So that is something that I need to be more mindful of, as well as put that in my monthly budget and just kind of always have that in the forefront of my mind where I'm thinking about giving. So I would love to hear if you guys have any giving strategies down below or maybe some organizations that you feel really passionately about, um, put them down below. I'd be really interested to check them out. Um, not that I'm gonna make a huge difference or maybe just to share because it's kind of neat to talk about different organizations or different things that you're passionate about, as well as maybe some strategies that you and your family have on giving. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video series. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will be keeping with the Financial Fridays, just FYI. I know this video series is kind of over with, um, but I will be keeping with Financial Fridays as much as I possibly can. So if I have financial content, I'll always try to post it on a Friday. So make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. I do post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time and that way you don't miss out on any of my videos if you'd like to come back and check it out. I'll just be hanging out in your subscriptions until you want to watch. So anyway, I am going to get going. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and coming along on my FPU journey with me. I really appreciate it and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys!